REAP systems are not newcomers to the hybrid vehicle and engine market, with a number of projects to their name in the industry. But, having taken a punt on entering the hybrid boat market, the dream is one step closer to becoming a reality. In amongst the best showers that August has mustered so far, the team successfully took their first foray out onto the water. As the engines were fired up for the first time, I spoke, I spoke to their company's founder to gauge his thoughts on the day. Pretty excited, uh, a little bit wet as well, it's been raining today <laughs> quite a lot, so we just started the engine for the very first time, it sounded really good. Uh, this was the scary moment, getting the boat in the water, see whether it's all sealed uh, or whether any leakages and then starting the engine for the first time, see whether it fires up. Our propeller is only coming in tomorrow, so we managed to borrow a propeller of a very nice chap uh, of one of our suppliers. Um, this was the, yeah, I mean, that, that was the part that was missing. Can we go out today? Will we have a propeller? Um, but apart from this, of course, there are, there are many risks in this project. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff on this boat. Uh, the engine has been just fired up for the first time. It's running right now. And we are getting ready for some, some small test runs. Um, but there was nothing too scary in the last 48 hours. I think this year is now the exciting or scary to a certain extent moment. Whilst this first trip along the Itchin saw solely the diesel aspect of the engine fired up and tested, the team anticipate getting the full hybrid power signed off and working by mid-September, around the time of the Southampton Boat Show. I asked Dennis about what this means for the industry. I think it mainly means something to the whole boating industry in my opinion, because uh, if, if we manage to launch a, a, a hybrid water taxi in Venice, uh, that is going to make all the main engine suppliers to basically they will have to uh, develop hybrid engines. Once we show uh, the benefits of this technology, how much it can save fuel, how much the maintenance intervals can be reduced, uh, how much the cost is going to go down, uh, then they will have to develop it. So this is kick-starting the hybrid revolution, in my opinion. Ben Treppis for that Solent.